going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button touch me won't regret it if you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support i bit my tongue ah anyway listen i want to talk about a story that broke it happened on friday that just passed and uh, they aired it on monday and it's about this guy right here Antonio Cornell Williams, 36 years old, from Houston, Texas, where I'm at. And uh, this, guy did, this guy went out bad, man. That's all I can say. Regardless of this guy's age, he's 36. He's nothing but a grown-ass child. Now, a lot of men that are like this now, and a lot of up-and-coming young men that are like this as well. And it's striking to me that at a certain age, you would think you would grow up. But some people don't see it like that because they're too occupied and self-absorbed. This guy, ladies and gentlemen, took the life of his girlfriend, Mayanda Thomas, pictured here, 33 years old. She's also, in addition to being his girlfriend, the mother of their two-year-old son, who witnessed Mr. Corn, I mean, Mr. Uh, Williams kill Miss uh, Thomas. Now, I'm going to show you the... I'm going to play the first, the first video I'm going to play for you was the actual crime itself. But when I show you this, it's just one aspect of how I believe this guy should have never been on the street. And a lot of other people like this that shouldn't be out on the street. I'll tell you before, a tired man will tire you out. And uh, if they sink their teeth into you, before you see them take their mask off, a lot of times it's much too late. This is another case of that. Check it out. Man shot himself in front of his two-year-old son right after police say he killed the child's mother this morning. The tragedy unfolded in Independence Heights on East 36th Street in Ajax. ABC 13's Micah Hampel is live after speaking to the victim's family. Micah? Based on the series of events that happened this morning, the victim's family called the gunman in this case a coward. They say him shooting himself was just him trying to take the easy way out. Houston police say the gunman did survive that shooting and was taken to the hospital for surgery. If you know you're in something that is dragging your energy or is not good for you, Please, please take it's, my it's sister as way. an example it's, and it's get out way. of it. 34 year old Mayanda Thomas's family showed up in groups and stood at the crime scene tape on East 36th Street while Houston police gathered evidence in her murder. To get this call that she's not here is like, no way. <laughs> You're joking. I, I just kept saying this is a bad dream, this is a nightmare. Family says the mother of two was with her younger son at the child's father's house in Independence Heights when they got into a fight this morning. Thomas's family says she did not want to be with him, which was a point of contention. During the fight, police say the child's father, who has not been identified, shot Thomas. It didn't have to happen. From there, the gunman took off on a bicycle with the toddler and rode about two miles before police spotted him. He's not going to be wearing a shirt. He's going to have a baby um, with no shirt. Either. Before the officers made any real contact with him, police say the gunman shot himself. To do what you did it. in front of your kid, right. to take his mom away, That's then wrong. try to take yourself out with the That's baby wrong. right there. Like, no, you have no, no heart, no conscience. He lived and was taken to surgery. Unfortunately, Thomas did not survive. The baby was unharmed and is with the gunman's family. In downtown Houston, Micah Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Guys, that's the story of uh, what happened to Miss Mayanda Thomas. May she rest in peace. And uh, my condolences go out to the family. The brother said something that was paramount. Did you hear him? Gave a message to the ladies. If you've got somebody in your life that's dragging you down, by all means, get out. She went at the end of the relationship with him. Went over there and told him what happened. Lost his mind. Killed her. Family had to sit out there and wait. They already had the devastating news that she had, was involved in being killed. They're outside with all that yellow tape consoling each other. The last image they have of their uh, sister or relative is coming out in a body bag. Horrific. Nobody ever sees it like that. She wanted to get away, but it was too late. 
this guy gets caught riding two miles after he blew. Well, I, I, I don't know how I don't know how she died, but I'm, she, she died. In front of the child, this happened. He picks the baby up, two years old. On a bike with no shirt on, driving 10 miles, I mean two miles, before police catch up with him. No plan at all. These people lose their they, uh, minds. No backup plan, just whatever they see, they attack, and then whatever, we'll wing it from there. It never works out. Part of being a man is to have the ability to problem solve. There are a lot of people that can't think outside of the own box that surrounds their minds. There are a lot of people out here that have retarded mental growth. They do. They can't think past the length of their nose. No matter what you tell them, they, they can't grasp it. Even with, with watching examples of other men, they can't grasp it. Why do you have to kill somebody because they don't want to be with you no more? It's like nowadays, you just saying, okay, we can start dating or have a baby by some maniac. All of a sudden, it's a death sentence if you want to get out. I mean, this I mean, this all over the place now. And it, it, it didn't just pop up out of nowhere. This is what happens when you have a lot of people. You know, that, that are men that are still boys in nature. You can grow. You're going to grow into a man regardless. But if your mind don't elevate with your age and learn from experience and, and past mistakes, what use are you? What woman going to follow a man that walk in circles? Like I told you, a broke man will slow you down, ladies. They'll slow you down. They'll be like uh, weights on your back or on your ankles, slowing your progress. Like I said, who wants to follow somebody that, 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 that's not leading? And multiple people in this world, being in a relationship with somebody, they wasn't even married. Being in a relationship with somebody should not equal a death sentence if one of them wants to terminate the uh, relationship. <laughs> From experience, let me say this. For a girl to tell you, I don't want to be with you no more most of the time. It's because she's tired of a lot of stuff that she has to constantly repeat herself with you that you keep doing a lot of times. Facts. A lot of times they get to the point where you just grind them down. They don't see no growth in you. How many times you've seen situations where girls have guys that come out of jail like this dude. And I'm about to show you this is the real reason about this. Come out of jail and can't get themselves straight. Once you go to jail, all of that time that's lost, a lot of people try to get out and catch up with it again. Because back in the real world, you know, you're in prison. That's a different world. You come back out in reality and so much has changed. The only connection you have is what you did prior to you going back in there. That's why there's so many repeat offenders out here. I've seen it a million times. Dudes come out of jail and pick up right where they left off. The reason why I'm doing this video, y'all, is because pictured up here right now is all the times this guy was locked up and having mug shots. Now, this girl got a two year old child with this man. I don't know how long they was in a relationship, but this guy got a history. And this is why I tell you people out there, whether you're a man or woman and you're dealing with somebody that got some funniness with them. Always. Do a background check. It's no harm in that. If you're looking at somebody as a viable uh, option to be with and build something with. I said that a while ago. Somebody got mad in the uh, content comment section. Oh, man, that, that, that's foul to even do that. Really? It's crazy. Maybe if this girl knew all of this stuff that she heard about that, that's I'm about to tell you about this guy or this news article. She wouldn't have walked away from him. She would have ran. And she damn sure wouldn't have uh, bared his seat. Take a look at this, man. Yo, this justice system is out of control. Look.
On tonight's Breaking Bond, this is wild. A 36-year-old repeat violent offender accused of killing his girlfriend last week was actually on bond for murder while serving a prison sentence at the same time. Fox 26 is Randy Wallace joining us now live from the courthouse tonight with the latest in his ongoing series. Randy. Yo, yeah, Anthony, now not only did Antonio Williams serve time while on bond, his bond was reinstated after he got out of prison. That may have cost a 33-year-old mother her life. You actually have a defendant who is on bond for murder while serving a prison sentence. Think about that. You're on bond for murder. You're serving a prison sentence. Hadn't seen that one in my 35 plus years. 36 year old Antonio Williams has six felony convictions. Half are violent. In 2021, Antonio Williams is charged with felon in possession of a weapon. Yeah, he's charged in Harris County, felon in possession of a weapon, a firearm, and he posts bond. In March of 2022, Williams is charged with murder in Fort Bend County. He's accused of killing 60-year-old Melinda Bibbs on New Year's Eve 2019. Police say Melinda's 30-year-old daughter, Ebony, was also shot but survived. Williams was Ebony's ex-girlfriend. Williams' half-a-million-dollar bond is eventually lowered to $115,000. So for $15,000, he walks out of jail on the murder charge. Correct. So now he's on bond for the murder in Fort Bend County. He's still on bond for the felon in possession of a weapon in Harris County. September of last year, Williams pleads guilty to felon in possession of a weapon. He takes a two-year plea deal. Last March, he leaves prison and his bond is reinstated. What they should have done is followed up with him there in Fort Bend right after he got out and made either new conditions or reviewed his bond at least. Williams is free on bond for the murder charge for less than two months when police say he killed another girlfriend, 33-year-old Mayanda Thomas. It happened last Friday at 709 East 36th Street. There's some sort of disturbance. Multiple gunshots were heard. The male flees the scene with the two-year-old child on a bicycle. Officers arrive. They find that a female is deceased. If his bond would not have been lowered, what happened? last Friday would not have happened. That's right. Police say after shooting his girlfriend, Williams turned the gun on himself. He remains in the hospital. He's now charged with two murders. Reporting live from the courthouse, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Did you see some of them charges he had? March of 2022. He shot and killed a 60 year old mother whose daughter he was dating that he also shot, but she survived. 2024, he killed uh, Mayanda Thomas two years ago. Why isn't he not locked up? Why wasn't he locked up then? Then another thing is this $15,000 bond. Cash is what he needed. Who's bailing this type of person out? Seriously, who's bailing this type of person out? Let me tell you something. People that bond out people like this with incessant violent behavior, next crime they do, you should take the brunt of some of that punishment. You should. I would not give freedom to somebody that doesn't give uh, anybody else the freedom to live. This guy shot his girlfriend, and killed her mother at the same time. This was in 2022 of March. They said they got a, the, the lady he just killed, Mayanda Thomas, they got a two-year-old baby. So did he jump right into another relationship with her after this? Impossible. That's why, you know, and I don't, I don't mean no disrespect. A lot of times, man, I do these stories. I always forget to leave out sometimes what brings people together is some type of attractiveness and similarities in either the personality is something that you share in commonality. Nobody gets into any type of relationship without any type of commonality. I don't know what their commonality was, but with all of that stuff he did, it was still easy for her to want to be with him. So I don't understand that. But I mean, come on, man. 
Come on. This guy was out on bond. They released him. He should have been like, like, locked right back up. And like you said, his bond should have been reviewed. They reducing penalties on people that killed other people. How you make deals or, or, or with, with people that were out here ha having victims of bloodshed? Seriously, how do you do that? Either way, man, I mean, they putting killers back on the street. There's killers running around here right now. And it's like the justice system don't care. It seems like they go through this protocol and just do their nine to five job. Some things they want to deal with and other things they don't. Like they don't want to deal with something unless they absolutely have to. And if you come from another county, they'll pass you on to the next. And obviously, the counties that he was going in between, their databases don't hook up or something for some reason. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. What I said about checking people's backgrounds when you first meet them don't sound like such a bad idea. Now, do it. You guys be careful out there. I'll see you in the next video.